Shalom fam, it is your sis that biblical babe jelly bee I am mate. And just a quick one, because my Bible study today, this is the verse that was pulled up to me. But first, we got to put it into context. It's based on the message, the lost tribes are so lost. Can't remember exactly what it was called, but it was about Black Hebrew Israelites. Then a brother commented this on my video, which I appreciate you, mostly because you bring scripture. You're not just chatting out your feelings. You brought scripture to me. So, of course, I'm that biblical babe. We can talk scriptures, okay? So, Matthew... And just to put this uh, scripture into context, Matthew, what happened was this is Jesus on the Sermon of the Mount and he's talking to crowds of people. And then his disciples came and they began to teach people about kind of what they should do, how to be blessed and so on and so forth. And from Matthew 5, this same chapter, verse 17, Jesus says that he didn't come to abolish the law of the prophets or the prophets. Sorry. So everything that had been spoken in the Old Testament, as well as the laws of Moses, he's saying, I didn't come to abolish them i came to fulfill them jesus christ you might want to call him yahusha hamashiach that's fine with me that's your business jesus christ he is the fulfillment of the law he fulfilled the laws something that humans us from adam and eve could not do okay He's saying that that law of flesh and blood, the laws of Moses, the law of sin and death will not fall away. It's not going to, uh, you know, disappear until the law is accomplished. Who accomplished the law? Sh should I ask it again? I need to ask it again because I will if I need to. Jesus Christ, he was the only one, is the only one who has ever accomplished the law. And then he's saying anyone who sets aside these commands will be the least in heaven. Heaven, whoever practices and teaches command. Oh, but, sorry, but whoever does practice and teach the commands will be great in heaven. And the end of this same, well, kind of the end, there's a lot more, but the commands are coming. And he's saying, for I tell you that unless your righteousness surpasses that of the Pharisees and the teachers of the law, you will certain, certainly not enter the kingdom of heaven. So how do we become righteous? How are we righteous if we are not following the law? This is what black Hebrew Israelites like to claim about Christians or whatever. I'm not a Christian anyway, so I don't really care. Don't really, not bothered. I just like to read the Bible and I know what the scriptures say you know like that but we've got to look at it like this the pharisees and the teachers here who keep the law who are teachers of the law they are the hebrew israelites or any other person who follows any form of religion or who goes back to the old testament laws this is what guides their flesh and blood which teaches them right it teaches us all right from wrong but they use this to lead their life oh i've done this so i've got to sacrifice this or oh, i've done that oh i can't be with my woman today because she's on her monthly so she have to have a kick her out of the house i can't be on the bus because this i can't go out on a saturday because you know can't do that it's a sabbath i can't turn on the power in my house because it's a sabbath you know i can't do this and i can't do that and i can't do that it all stems from uh knowledge of god which is the fear of god so it's based on fear but let's look in the new testament romans specifically eight this is where us born again believers who believe in jesus christ whether you want to call him yahusha or jesus christ like i said that's your business again it's scripture when he comes again He's going to have a new name. So why would we be discussing names? And any person who's experienced any spiritual or had any spiritual experiences with demons, sleep paralysis, try and use any other name but Jesus Christ and see if the demon does anything. Let's see. I don't know about you, but before we get into Romans properly, uh, the fulfillment of the law and the commands that Jesus gives in Matthew, he begins citing them from there. So if you read the full chapter of Matthew 5, you will see he talks about murder, divorce, eye for an eye, oaths, and he's amending the law, the most uh obvious example of these amendments, these commands that he's giving that are amending the law is the eye for an eye from verse 38 where it was saying before it was an eye for an eye a tooth for the tooth but i'm telling you now don't do that bless this person that wants to slap you in your face it's not exactly read like that but read it yourself and you will see that's why all of that black hebrew israelite following the law you do that but you're going to be judged by that if we move to romans 8 this is where we understand what jesus christ Again, if you want to call him Yahusha, whatever name you want to call him, that's your business. That's between you and the spirit of God because we live by our convictions. This is what he came to implement. 
the law of the spirit and life in Christ Jesus, as Romans 8 says. We are not working off of our own flesh, knowing that, oh, I've done this, so I need to do this. Oh, I've done that, so I need to do this. I need to stay righteous with God, so I need to keep doing these actions, 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 even though I know I keep falling short. What we are supposed to do in in order to keep the law, the only way you can keep the law is not walking in flesh and blood, but by the Spirit of God. Only people who have the Holy Spirit can even keep the law because it is the power of the spirit that works within us that keeps the law not us this is what romans 8 is talking about is that we can't live by our own righteousness in our flesh and blood living by the law which was never even meant to be fulfilled by human beings but god the son of god himself so this is why it's like when it comes to the black hebrew israelites getting in your feelings commenting this you need to cover your hair you need to do this you're this i don't business pick up the bible and read come out your feelings and come out my comments too and anyone who is confused about following the law and understanding the law and the difference that jesus christ made when he came here in the flesh read romans 8 pray first and say holy spirit give me understanding not knowledge even more so than wisdom you need understanding what is the most high god saying what is the spirit of god saying the only way we are more righteous than the pharisees the religious people who you know running down the law the only way we are more righteous than them is because of the spirit the power of the power of the spirit that worketh within us that comes from god himself the indwelling of him on our insides not working through our flesh and blood because as romans 8 tells us this is what leads to death those people who live by the flesh and their own self-righteousness i.e the pharisees the black hebrew israelites you know those law keepers they can't please god as this scripture tells us yeah so you know i just love the bible we gotta read it but more importantly pray that the holy spirit gives you understanding and any person that comes across you know people who are religious black hebrew israelites you gotta pray for the uh, discerning of spirits the gift of discerning of spirits and you a guarantee It's many people who have spirits of rejection and abandonment who want to feel like they belong with something or to something that is greater than themselves, which is why they feel like they need to work for God's love, affection, uh, you know, his acceptance. That's a lot of the reason why people get into religions and cults and all those kinds of things. They're looking for to belong. They have no understanding of who they are outside of the spirits of rejection and abandonment. And it's not all their fault because this stems from slavery and, you know, obviously being oppressed. This is just a knock on effect of it. It's the wanting or not even wanting, forcing acceptance and demonizing the nations who you feel destroyed you. However, again, it's biblical Israel had to fall for the Gentiles to be saved. Anyway, if you ain't talking Bible, if I don't need to hit, see the scriptures, if you just come like some gal in my comments, I'm going to delete it. And I don't feel nowhere about it. All right. Shalom.